Good morning you guys, welcome to vlogmas day 13. So yesterday I combined day 11 and 12 because I really was not feeling well on the 11th but I feel so much better today. I woke up this morning feeling very well rested and ready to take on the rest of the month. I'm fine with like combining a day if that's what needed to happen in order for me to have enough energy to continue on with vlogmas. But I put on my new sweatshirt from Abercrombie this morning. I have some editing to do and I thought I could wear this today. I'm obsessed. It is so cute. The color is just perfect. I don't really know what I'm gonna do today I do know that I need to go through and edit this video and upload this one And then once I finish that up, hopefully within the next like two hours I'm gonna try and like speed demon edit and hopefully when I do that we can plan out what I want to do today I really don't know what's on the agenda like there's literally nothing and the, the world is our oyster as soon as i get this video done then we have freedom to do whatever we want to do i just don't know what i want to do but i'm going to drink my coffee should i try it on camera my cat is being so loud i figured we could try the starbucks holiday blends um i was gonna say k-cup nespresso pod on camera because I forgot that I always add, like, I haven't made Nespresso in so long. I always add a little bit of creamer to the bottom and then brew the coffee on top. So that way it warms up the creamer and you don't have to worry about, like, adding cold products into your coffee. And then it cools down your coffee too much. And I put it in my little gingerbread Christmas mug. So let's just try this and see how it is. I feel like I'm such a rookie with the Nespresso now because I don't know how to do it like I used to. But it's not bad. I miss having hot coffee and being able to use my Nespresso, so maybe I should order some new pods today. <laughs> that should definitely be something that we do because I feel like I need them. Yeah, welcome to Vlogmas day 13. I'm still waking up a little bit, so I'm a little bit out of it, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. And I'm gonna edit right now and just get in the zone. Just kind of like shut off the outside world and do what I have to do until I can't no more. I don't even get up to go to the bathroom. Sometimes I'll be like, I have to go to the bathroom so bad. And I'm like, just edit this last little clip and then go. So I'm gonna get in the zone and do what I need to do. All right, I just got ready. I curled my hair, did a little bit of light makeup. My computer is being so slow right now. So I'm just gonna upload my video when I get back. But here is a quick little outfit of the day. So I still have on the sweatshirt from Abercrombie underneath. This little tan vest is from Urban Outfitters. These jeans are a little short on me but they are Levi's and then my shoes are some New Balance I don't know what number these are but they're New Balance shoes that have like blue and pink and yellow and all the colors in them and then my everyday sunset bag I'm just like having one of those days where I feel really gross like my hair feels really gross I feel like my apartment feels really gross for like no reason like I just have the urge to like mop the floors right now I think it's just anxiety talking but I feel so like gross at the moment, but we're gonna open up the advent calendar day seven and see what perfume I'm gonna wear with my outfit today. I believe that we're already on day seven. Let's see what we're gonna get today. Hopefully it's something good. Ooh, is that Victor and Rolf? Flower bomb, I can smell it already. Oh my God. Here's what the outside looks like, very pretty. I think it's this that I smell. It could just be all the other perfumes that I'm smelling, but as soon as I opened up this little day, I could smell something. The inside looks like, doesn't look like there's a description for this one. Power Bomb, Ruby, Orchid, Victor, and Rolf. So let's try this out. This is like a really classic scent, but I've never smelled this. So here goes nothing. On my self-tanned wrists. Mmm! Wait. This is a contender. This is actually really good. I didn't think I was gonna like this because y'all know I normally don't like floral scents, but this isn't really that floral. It's more just like girly, but not like old lady floral. Cause I feel like that's what floral sometimes gives is old lady. This one's really good. I don't know now which ones are in my top. Well, I know which ones are in my top three, but I don't know what order they go in at this point because I am at a little bit of a loss, but this one is good. I would rate this like a nine out of 10. I actually love this. My computer is just being so slow right now. It's driving me crazy. So I'm about to leave for a little bit. I don't love that lighting either. My mom wants me to come run a few errands with her and then I might run a few errands as well. It just kind of all depends on how late I'm gonna be out because I need to upload this video really badly and I still have like way more to edit for it but I don't know why whenever I put iPhone clips in a video they take so long to render and I can't like edit while it's rendering because it just is so painfully slow yeah I'm just gonna leave the house try and get my mind off things for a little bit 
and I think like my mom's gonna take me to like this market that has like meat and seafood and like fresh deli items so I might get something there to make for dinner and then we're gonna go to like this home store that my mom said is really cute and like browse around there for a little bit yeah who knows what the day has in store I also really want to get my nails done because they are so grown out like I don't know how my nails are growing this fast it's only been two weeks and I normally like wouldn't care that much and and I just feel like they're getting it's only been two weeks and my nails are like so grown out i don't know if you can see on camera how bad it is but it's actually crazy how fast they grew so yeah i don't know maybe i'll get my nails done today that just sounds like something that's gonna take a while but i don't know i kind of really want to hi guys so i just got back from being out with my mom i'm so sorry i didn't vlog <laughs> any of that because we were kind of quick my mom was in a little bit of a rush too because she has things to do and then i was obviously in a rush because i have things to do but i did get a couple of things so one of the stores we went into is called effies e-f-f-i-e-s and i wasn't expecting to find anything i thought i was just gonna like help my mom find stuff for one of my sister's Christmas gifts, but I ended up finding some stuff myself as well. I wanted to get, they had like these coffee syrup samplers and there was like all these cool flavors, but maybe we'll go back for that at some point. But I did get this lemon vanilla honey cream spread. I keep thinking it's lavender and vanilla, but it's lemon vanilla. This is what it looks like on the bottom. It's like a little thick honey spread. Should we open it right now and see? what it smells like, what it looks like on the inside. Wait, this looks so good. It smells good. It smells like a lemon like cupcake or something. So I figured I could use this on like a cheese board or something. I don't know, this just sounded really good to me. And then the other thing I am so excited about, I literally did not expect to find any home decor that I liked, but this isn't gonna be everyone's taste. When I saw this, I was like, that is so me. Like, I need it. And she had a bunch of different sizes, little bowls and stuff, but I ended up going with this one because I thought it would be a good, like, trinket dish. And it has zebras all over it. I'm obsessed with this. I think this is so cute to put somewhere. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. I'll probably start planning out, like, some home decor and stuff like that for the new year and how I want to, like, redecorate my place. But I love this zebra plate and so does Scar, apparently. I thought that this was a great price. This was only $13. I feel like at Anthropology this would be, like, $35. So $13, you really can't beat it. I also stopped at Dunkin' to get a coffee because I was so tired on the way home. This is just a butter pecan regular. Or no. Butter pecan with two cream, regular iced coffee. And then we also went to a place called Joe's, which has like a lot of fresh meats and seafoods. It's like a butcher shop pretty much. Um, but they also have like food, a little bit of produce and stuff. So I got this beef stock and then I got tomato paste right here. And then I got two pounds of um, short rib. Because either tonight or tomorrow, I want to make like some short rib, red wine, braised short rib. So I got two pounds of that. I have a ton of short rib now, but it just looked so good. And she told me that she gave me like the best pieces because she knows my mom and my aunt, my uncle and stuff. Yeah, that is my little haul for my little outing. I don't know if I'm going to go anywhere else today. Right now, I am going to work on uploading today's video that's going to go live and then also cleaning my place because I don't know why I'm feeling really anxious right now and I just want to like clean for a little bit and make my place feel good and then I can decide what else I want to do for the day. Like I don't know if I want to go do some Christmas shopping later tonight or if I just want to have like a chill night at home and maybe like make the short ribs. Like I don't know what I want to do for the rest of the day. It's all kind of up in the air but I was feeling so anxious and stuff. At least I did get this tray that I love so much. Like, look at how cute that is, you guys. I feel like it's so me. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I'm still editing my video. I have like maybe 30 more minutes left of editing and then I need to export it and upload it. I think I'm gonna call my nail salon and see if they have any openings. That way I can get a dip manicure. What is it called? Divine Nail Spa. And it's so funny whenever I call because the same guy same guy answers the phone every single time I call. His name's Kevin. And like whenever you walk into the nail salon, he has a headset on. And he is just like so funny every time I call. So we'll see if he's in a good mood. Sometimes he's in a bad mood. But I'm going to call and ask if they have anything later on tonight. What time do they close at? Let me see. Because I don't want to ask for something too late. They close at 7. I'm going to ask if they have anything at 6. Because it's 3.15 right now. Hi, I was 
hoping to get um, a dip manicure tonight, maybe at like 6. Sure. Okay, thank you, Molly. Molly. It was so quick today. Oh my god, he was very like, get to the point. Whenever I'm in there, the phone rings. I kid you not, in this nail salon, like nonstop. I don't even, I can't even comprehend how many people call in to make appointments. Like he has a very busy job. He's always like doing a girl's nails. I never normally have him do my nails because I feel like the people who go to him like are, they go there for him, you know, but he always is like, he has his headset on, he's answering phone calls while he's doing a woman's nails, and then he also has like the book in front of him where he writes down everyone's appointments and like writes down what time people are coming in, and it's like this giant book that he writes in and it's always on his lap. So he's not even like just doing two things at once, he's doing like 10 million things at once because he's also greeting people as they come in. He's like the hardest worker I've ever met, and I need to make sure I wear like some nice sneakers because he always compliments all my Nike Jordan sneakers, he's obsessed. Kinda looks like my makeup like came off right there. Does it not? I don't know, on my cheeks, it looks a little weird. Maybe I just didn't even apply makeup on my cheeks, but I used the Merit um, new like foundation concealer that they sent me. And I actually really liked it, but I just need to go look in the mirror at this and see. Cause my cheeks look like weird, do they not? I don't know. My camera's dying though. I'm gonna continue sitting here editing my video and then I have a nail appointment now at six o'clock. Yay! Okay, I just finished up in the nail salon. I was feeling very frail when I was going in. I don't know why I was feeling frail. Is that the right word? I was feeling very like weak. I don't know. I think it's because I need to eat. I'm planning on getting Chipotle when I'm on my way back home, but I just got my nails. I did. OPI, it's like red apple something. I'll put it on the screen if I remember while I'm editing, but it was like super popular. Like the girl next to me was like, oh my God, I just like got that one taken off just now. So I guess it's a really popular OPI red. I never normally do red nails, but I was feeling it. Sorry if you can hear my heat blasting. It's really cold out. It's 37 degrees, but I swear it feels like it's like 20 degrees. <laughs> it feels so cold, but yeah, here are my red nails. I normally don't like doing color like this. Like I normally like to do a more neutral, but he did such a good job. We were debating doing like some type of design or something on them, but I'm so happy we kept it just simple like this. I feel like they look so good. And then I talked to him about ordering um, some charms. So that way next time I come in, they can put charms on my nails. I was literally like one of the last people in there it was like me and two other girls because technically they close at 7 and it's 7.23, but I'm so happy that I got the red. <sighs> it's like the perfect shade of red and I just do dip on my nails. I get gel on my toes. I didn't do my toes today though, but I do gel on my toes, dip on my nails because it never chips, for me at least. They never crack. They just stay in perfect condition besides growing out, of course, but other than that, they stay perfect every single time. So I always get dip and then I ask for square with a little bit on the rounded on the corners, not too much, but just a little bit. Square is a little bit too harsh, but I like just a slightly rounded corner. And I find that the square nails I like better on me than like a rounded tip. There is one more little close up. Wait, they actually look so good. He slayed, he did such a good job. I'm about to run to TJ Maxx right now because I wanna get some organization stuff for my bathroom because I wanna do that tonight. And I feel like TJ Maxx would have some good stuff for cheap, so I need to rush over there. But here's my nails, my camera's gonna die, so I'll vlog, if anything, on my phone, but I'm so happy. Also, I keep forgetting, my nail salon gave me a little Christmas gift. They always give me one and it's so nice. So it's gonna have probably like lotion, and I think a cuticle oil in there, so we love that. Ever since I unlocked this recording spot in my kitchen, I have never looked back. I swear I just record here like every single day, but I'm home now, I got Chipotle, I also got so much stuff at Home Goods. It's currently all in my car, or Home Goods or TJ Maxx, whatever one it is. Um, my cats are being so loud and like rambunctious right now because I've been gone for most of the day. So they always go buck wild when I get home after being gone for so long. But that's the only downside for me of leaving my house for like all day is that they go crazy. I left all the home goods stuff in the car for now because I didn't feel like going back and forth and making a ton of trips up. I'm gonna go get it tonight. Don't worry, you're getting a haul in this video and we're gonna start organizing tonight. I hit the jackpot at TJ Maxx and I think I might go back tomorrow because there was so much good stuff in there. Um, 
yeah, I just didn't feel like going back and forth to my car right now. So because I got Chipotle, like I said I was going to, so I'm gonna eat my Chipotle and then go down to the car and get what I need to get. I'm so excited. I haven't had Chipotle in what feels like years because I was going through a really big Chipotle phase and then I just kind of have been in a cooking phase recently. Tonight's like the first night I feel like in so long that I didn't feel like cooking something. So, oh, he filled this thing up like he was in love with me. Like he went crazy on this. I'm so excited right now. It literally looks like I just got sour cream. I swear it's just on the top. Let's hope so. Let's hope he didn't put too much sour cream. I feel like I go over my order all the time. It's white rice, black beans, carne asada when they have it. Um, mild salsa, hot salsa, sour cream, cheese, and that's it. And it's so good. And then I always get chips on the side. I normally get, um, a very specific drink, 80% lemonade, 20% Sprite. I didn't feel like asking for a cup today because the girl who was working at the register, she seemed like she had a long day. She seemed really stressed out when I asked if I could have chips on the side. So I wasn't about to push it over the limit and ask for a drink as well because I think that would have set her off. So I'm gonna have my Chipotle without my drink. It's okay, I'm gonna have water. Do me the favor of making me be healthy. Get yeah, Chipotle time and then once I eat this, I'm not gonna let myself get comfy on the couch because then I won't move. I'm gonna eat this and then go down to the car and get all the home goods stuff so that way we can go through it. I think I got some really good stuff and then tomorrow I wanna go back and get something else that I'm not gonna spoil for this video but I think it's gonna be really good for my bedroom so tomorrow maybe we'll do that. But let's focus on this vlog right now. I'm hungry right now. This is going to hit the spot. Also, here are my nails. This lighting honestly isn't much better. It's a little bit overcast. Okay, there we go. That's a good, that's good lighting to show off my nail color. I'm kind of obsessed. Like I literally never do any type of color. So red is like very bold for me. And I normally don't like my skin tone with red, but I kind of love it. I am in such an insane food coma right now. Literally all I want to do is rot in my bed and watch Vlogmas because I have so much to catch up on. So I'm not going to organize my bathroom tonight, but I am going to give you guys a haul. So I think that's like good enough. And then tomorrow it'll be better because then tomorrow, today's like the haul portion and the shopping portion. And then tomorrow will be like the actual organization and decorating two big bags to go through it just goes to show how much i really love you guys because i went down to my car after showering in my pajamas with a coat on and grabbed all this stuff to give you a haul so you're welcome purposely shut this door to be like alone for a little bit and somehow they're all in here okay so before i left for the nail salon knowing i was going to go to home goods i took pictures of my bathroom cabinets and like storage areas and like the stuff that I had. I took measurements and wrote those down in my notes and it did help a little bit. I just like can't comprehend organization like that. I'm not a Virgo. I'm gonna try my best to make it look as like aesthetically pleasing as I can. It's more about functionality, but I also want it to look nice, you know, who doesn't? So anyways, let's just go through the stuff that I got. This one is actually, oh, they're all so cold right now. This one was $9 and this is what I'm most excited about. If I don't use this in my bathroom, I will use this for what it's meant for, which what it's meant for is tea. I ran out of storage, typical, but I'm back. So like I said, this is for teas, but I think I could use this for something in my bathroom. I was kind of originally thinking I have like a lot of like medications like Advil and stuff like that that come in like little packets or like Tylenol PM. I don't know if I have enough stuff to fill this up, but that's what I was originally thinking of using this for, but maybe I'll find another use for it. And if not, I'm keeping this no matter what. Some of this stuff I told myself like if it doesn't fit or if it doesn't get used, I'm returning it. I'm not just gonna like keep everything. Lulu, can you please not go in the bag right now? Look at her head. No, you're so bad. Yes, most of the stuff, if it doesn't work out, I'm returning it. I'm not just gonna like take the L. I'm going to return it. This I'm gonna keep no matter what because I will definitely find a use for this. I think it's really cool and nifty. I actually got three of these Lazy Susans. These were super affordable, only $5.99. I feel like at Target, they're just way more. And like I said, I got three of them. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is put these in one of the cabinets and put um, certain skincare products and body care or hair care on them. That way I can spin it. I feel like that's more functional than 
having everything kind of like behind each other i feel like being able to spin it and just like see all of my products makes more sense so that's why i got three of them because i feel like i'm really gonna like this i feel like this is gonna be the move and the shelves i'm pretty sure this is gonna fit on them what is the diameter of this this is 12 inches i hope it fits on the shelves that i have in my bathroom we'll cross that bridge tomorrow i did measure things so hopefully i just measured things correctly i wasn't a little bit of a rush but i think i did an okay job two of these everything i got is acrylic by the way the cabinets i thought that acrylic stuff was okay um tj maxx by the way home goods whatever they have so much organization stuff i'm sure they're like gearing up for the new year of course so i'm getting ahead of the game but like oh my god all these different things but i tried to go more slightly affordable since it's just going in cabinets like i don't need it to look insanely expensive like i'm fine with just like these basic acrylic drawers so i got two of these these were 3.99 a piece i feel like that's a really good price and just like that we're done with one bag already all right the next bag doesn't have as much stuff in it as i thought it did i really didn't get as much as i thought i did um so i got two of these this is by the brand bino these were a little bit more expensive these were 14.99 a piece these are nice acrylic pull out drawers i was thinking that i was gonna store like my hair tools like curler straighteners um blow dryers like extra blow dryers stuff like that in one of the cabinets i feel like these would be good for that i like how i can see through them so i can know what's inside each drawer without having to like open every single one every time but it'll just keep it more contained because right now my hair tools are just like all over the place and i just like shove them into the cabinet as i'm sure you can imagine because you guys have seen some of the cabinets and it's it's rough out there i'm not gonna lie again that's a problem for tomorrow and now we have the other drawer that i got like i said i got two of them and she put some of the other things that i got inside the drawer i can't open the drawer <laughs> they were stuck in here so one of the things in here is a candle this is in the scent alpine lake I don't know what brand it is. There's just an R on the front of it, but I mostly got it because I like the decorative element of it. I think it looks really nice and I thought this would look cute in the bathroom. It smells slightly like a Christmas tree, but not like super Christmassy. And I'll probably just keep this as decor even after I burn through it. And I'm just now realizing I left the house and forgot to get a lighter again i need to like put it as my phone background for tomorrow so that way i remember to get one because i haven't been able to light my candles in like three days and i'm going crazy okay one of the last things that i got is some new hand towels i thought these would be really cute um you guys always see my hand towels when i'm filming in my bathroom so i want to make that like area of the bathroom <laughs> look cuter because right now it just looks so plain so i started off with some hand towels i love these are these Wait, I kind of thought that these were like a zebra pattern because I, like I said, I love zebra. I think it is. I just had a panic attack thinking that this was a chevron pattern. Is it chevron? No. I think I'm forgetting what chevron looks like. I mean, it's kind of giving chevron on the back a little bit, but I think these are like a zebra. And you guys know I love zebra stuff. Maybe I'll put my new zebra tray in the bathroom once we start like playing around with decor and stuff. We need to get the organization under control, but then we're gonna focus more on decor, which should be really which will be really fun. Also, by the way, when I was going to get this stuff out of the car, I was like grabbing one of the bags in the corner of one of these drawers went straight into my forehead. And it hurts so bad. Probably gonna have a battle wound in the morning. Okay, and the very last thing that I got, I'm actually excited about this. I think this was a really good deal. It was $16.99 for this little frame. And then I'm gonna look on Etsy probably tonight or tomorrow morning to find a print that can go in here. Something really cool. I love how it has like a heavy mat around it. I think it makes it look a little bit more expensive. And this was $16.99. And I'm just gonna, like I said, find a picture on Etsy or like an old um, photograph of some kind I think would be really cool. I've been super inspired by Clara Pierce recently. I've been obsessed with her content and I love the way she's decorating her home and she's just been inspiring me to get like some old classic photos and put them inside frames and I think that would be really fun. So I'm gonna look um, up some artists and see 
what I think would look good color wise in the bathroom I want to add a little bit of color of course but like I don't know we'll have to see but anyways I got this frame and I think this is gonna go above the hand towels so whatever I put in this frame you guys will see in videos quite a bit <laughs> since I always film at that angle in the bathroom so I really need to think it through of what I want to put in here but I like the frame the um, color of it is just kind of like an off black it is slightly gray but in real life it looks more like almost black wood that is everything that i got from home goods i'm so excited to organize tomorrow i feel like a little kid on christmas eve like tomorrow's gonna be a great day today was an amazing day like literally so good i had such a fun day i went shopping with my mom i uploaded my video my video is actually performing pretty well it says it's number one out of ten right now which is super exciting so that was good news i got my nails done i got chipotle and it was actually really good today so good that it put me in a food coma like it was amazing and then i went to home goods and i like hit the jackpot on all this stuff and there was so much good stuff at home goods that i potentially might go back tomorrow and browse again because everything was that good so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed vlogmas day 13. crazy we just checked off day 13 that is wild that tomorrow's gonna be 14 which is my lucky number so i'm excited for tomorrow yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video definitely make sure to thumbs it up if you did subscribe here if you're new follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok subscribe to my other youtube channel do all the things but i love you guys so much much and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye!